Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So after we have finished speaking about Unify uh, Networks, now it's time to speak about Unify Protect. So Unify Protect is for cameras, like when you want to do surveillance, that's uh, what Unify Protect. On the UDM Pro, you have this application available. That means we can put cameras in our network. So what I have now here is this camera that you can see here. This is a Unify G3 camera that uh, I have it. And I want now to put it on power so once i put it on power then i will see from the unify protect that uh, the unify protect will detect this camera then i have to adopt it and we have to do the uh, initial setup so we have to see some uh, brief things because in this section we're going to speak about all details that what we can do in the unify protect so Again, Unify Protect is an application that is available on the UDM Pro and the main function of it is to be able to run cameras in our network. So that means we can record all the videos and the videos can be recorded on a hard drive that, that like I have showed you at the beginning of uh, this course. And uh, then we can go back to those videos in case you want to watch them or there is any problem that happens in, uh, inside the company. In case you are running this GDM Pro in a company, then you can go back to those videos, watch them and see what the problem is so you can discover the issue. Now, as you can see here, we have a lab of three points. Let's start directly with point number one. Point number one, go to the controller and click uh, on protect application, then go to settings and explore the settings that you have. So I'm on the uh, dashboard of the uh, controller here. We used always to go to networks. Now we go to protect. So from here we can, you can see that this about the cameras. So at this moment we don't see uh, much things because we didn't yet connect the camera. But what you can see here is that I have this hard drive that I have put it. I have a 500 gigabyte that I have already put it uh, in the first uh, lecture of this course. So it shows up over here. And now once the camera will start recording, you can record from this pixel, which is 1080 pixel or the 4K. Of course, 4K will give you better quality of recording, but then it takes much faster space from your hard drive. So that's something we're going to check it later. Now, from here, if we go to settings on, on the uh, Unify Protect, so here what you can do, first you can do update for your Protect. So if you click on update the system, it will take you to back to here on the Unify OS, and then you can see if you can do any update at this moment. The version is the latest version. You can see it's up to date, version 1.20.3. Now we go back to here, we can see the temperature unit. You can say of on Fahrenheit or on Celsius. The time representation, whether you want it to be 12 hours AM, PM or 24 hours. And here is the, the uh, vice uh, password, we don't change that. And now here you can also enable the geofence. So it enables geofence to use feature such as start recording when I leave the facility. So that's something you can do it. The smart uh, detection enables smart detection of people and vehicles and so on. So this is uh, uh, new and uh, this normally works on the cameras, which is uh, from G4 and above. So if you just enable it, now it would say to you, we are proud to introduce our latest Unify Protect feature, smart detection. Our smart camera now will automatically differentiate between people and other moving objects in the field of view, adding another layer of uh, distinction and security to uh, our ever-growing platform. So if you want, you can enable it. At this moment, I'm not going to enable it. From here, you can reset your protect. Of course, you can uh, do here the backup. So uh, you can, in case you have already the backup, you can import it. Or what you can do, you can download the backup of the current systems and then you can save it somewhere and uh, that's pretty much uh, the, the the things that uh, uh, you have over here now this is what uh, are the settings that we have inside the uh, protect let's go now back to the dashboard and uh, from here we have to see how we can now adopt the camera that I have already put it on the power point number one is done point number two add the camera and adopt it and do the update in case it showed up. So let's go back to here. And now I have to go to the devices. So look here, it has showed me directly G3 instant. So this is the camera. This camera is now only connected to the power. So this has uh, detected from the Bluetooth. All right. So now I will just click on it. And what I need to do is to say here, adopt device. 
So let's wait until this has been adopted. So here the camera is fully adopted. And if you look now, if I go to the camera and uh, you see that uh, this is the video, it's live now. So if I click on it, so this is the video that I'm speaking live. You can see this is my office. And uh, yeah, from here, let's see what we can do. So we have over here, you can either say that I want to save it as 720 pixel or 1080 uh, pixel full HD. The more the uh, pixels are, then uh, the, it would take more space, but this is, would be the better quality. From here, you can also enable and disable the audio. So if you want that this to record also the audio, you can enable it and here you can disable it. Here you can take pictures. So if you just click on it, then this takes a picture for, of uh, what you have over here. All right. Now, what else? Did this give you a, a higher uh, picture so you can see what's happening here? And from here, if we go to it, then from here we can mostly do things about the quality of the picture. So like uh, if you want it infrared, if you want, uh, uh, for example, the saturation to be different. So you can play with that. You can see the color is changing. So all those things are mostly f about the quality of the picture, which normally I don't use them. All right. So that's, uh, uh, that's uh, what you see here. And now if you go to the dashboard again, so on the dashboard over here, you can see that uh, this is uh, ongoing, showing you what is happening here ongoing. And here it shows also about the motions. So now we are going to speak about the motion in a moment. That means in case someone is moving or something like something is moving, then it will directly detect the motion. That's something I'm going to show it to you later. So this is here one motion. You can see that it has told you at what time this motion is happening, which is just right now. So that's uh, what, uh, like, like now, for example, another motion happened. So if I make my hand, I move my hand a little bit. So you can see here is also motion happening. So every time there is a motion, then it will detect it for you. And now if you want to watch the motion again, so let's go to it. Here we go. So you can see that's because I have moved my hand, then it had uh, taken uh, the time before and some time after it. So again, here, this is what the motion is. Port number two is done and then check the camera video. I also have checked it from the dashboard and this point is done. So now that's really not anymore like real networking what we're doing here. We're just playing with the camera now and we have to go some explanation about uh, what you can do with the cameras and uh, that's something we have to uh, pass through it because this is uh, inside the UDM Pro, the Protect application. So that's why I decided to add it into this course. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.